Barbrands here and today we are talking about rigging. So I thought it'd be pretty interesting to focus on deformers for a while because I get lots of questions about how they work and what we can do and what we can't do with them. So yeah, I thought it'd be pretty great to dedicate some time to these little bad boys. So that's what we'll do. But before we start and really dive in the specifics of each little deformers, there are some basics you need to learn. I'm sorry, but that's life. So first off, what is a deformer? So a deformer is not some magic thing that makes everything go fluid and stuff. There is science to it. So what is a deformer? In the deformer, you have bones, you have curve, you have free forms. There's many different members of that family. So if I go in my node library and I write the bone to find a bone deformer, I'll use this little bone deformer to show you some stuff. So first, what color is that node? Because yes, a deformer is a node. And what color is it? It's green. What other node do we know that is green? Mm, a peg. In the harmony, nodes that are green are from the transformation family. So they transform stuff. A peg will um, move something in space and make it rotate and stuff and scale it. Well, a deformer will deform stuff. <laughs> if I take my drawing and I add a bone deformer, for example, it's gonna create a little group. What is in that group? You guessed it right! Little bone nodes. So bone nodes are like little baby pegs. That's, that's how I call them, the little baby pegs. Because pegs, they work on their own, but little bones, they, they, need to, they, they need more than one to work well together. So they're like baby pegs. These little points that I just created are actually boxes in my node view. So if I click on this one, this box light up. And if I click on this bone, this box is gonna light up. So they are physical nodes in your node view. So when you create them, if you add too many and you want to get rid of some, it's as easy as just selecting the ones you don't want and getting rid of them. So they are physical nodes in your node view. Also, like I said, bones are from the same family as peg, which means you can animate them with tweening. So if I go in my timeline and if I create my peg and I go put the pivot at the right place and I move it, whoop, 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 I can then tween it. So I'm going to create two keyframes, I'm going to create a motion, we're gonna move it like that and you guessed it the computer is doing the work which is amazing uh, the same thing goes for deformers so if I select my group with my little baby pegs I connect it here if I want to animate it it's the same and even the logo is the same in the timeline so I'm gonna close it so that both my deformer have the animation on I'm gonna create the tweening and as you can see there is tweening inside so if I go here and I move it you get, you get the same thing as you would with a peg, but it's deformed instead of a peg or something. So right off, we know that they work very similarly. So just like a peg, you don't copy-paste a bone because the function will be shared between the bones, so you don't copy-paste a bone. Anyway, why would you want to do that? Hmm. Who knows? So now that we know that the deformer is from the transformation family, one piece that is missing is how do we connect these little things to a drawing? Because there's many ways we could go about that. I'm gonna get rid of uh, this little bone here. We don't need it. So usually the deformer will go right next to the drawing. And then the peg will go on top. This is the basic layout of a piece in a rig. You have the drawing, the deformer, and the peg. So it's bad to put a peg under a drawing. Well, it's also bad to put a peg under a deformer. Uh, you don't do that unless you know what you're doing. Or unless you have one of these little... Um, Memory output thing that are pretty useful. Anyway, we'll get to that in a, in a moment. So you connect them like this, and it works super well. Okay, and last but not least, how do we create a deformer? So to create a deformer, really easy. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> uh, you click on your drawing. You make sure you have your rigging tool active. So the rigging tool is this little uh, tool right here. It's part of the deformation toolbar. If you cannot find your deformation toolbar, you can right click here and find the deformation um, thingy. And then you'll get this beautiful toolbar. If you want to create a deformer, you click on the drawing, you make sure you have your rigging tool active. And then in the tool property window, you will see lots of stuff. So trust me, this part right there is a bit more advanced. Uh, you don't have to know what it does right now. Uh, just focus on these little icons. So you have the bone. You have the curve, you have the envelope. Okay, I wrote it with two P's, but that's because I'm French, okay? 
Kasumi. <laughs> but you also have the game bones, which are very similar to the normal bones, but these are read by Unity. If you want to make a game with Unity, you could use the game bones and export your rig inside there and stuff. So it's pretty cool, but uh, we'll talk about it in another video. And we have the Freeform Deformer, which is the newest addition to the Deformer family. So then again, you click on your drawing, make sure you have your rigging tool active, you select the Deformer you want, and then it's as easy as just clicking in your screen. So there's two techniques to create Deformers. You have the click, which is what we use for the bone. You just go click, 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 and you have your bone created. And then if I take the curve, for example, we also have the click and drag. So drawing, rigging tool, curve. You click and you drag towards where you want to go. And then you go to your destination and you click and you come back. Usually I go roughly around like a third in terms of distance. And then what it does is create these little handles. So this would be how you create quickly a deformer, but we'll talk about it in more details in the next videos. And also here we have little icons. So this is the rigging tool. When you click on it, your bones will go back to normal and you can play with them and edit them and move them. But this is just for rigging. If you do this and you already animate it, it will mess everything up. Look at that. Ew, I don't like where this is going. So make sure that you don't edit the position of your bone after you animate it. This is really bad. And when you're in your rigging tool, you see that your bones, they turn red. This is because you're in the building mode. And if you take your transform tool, for example, they will turn green and this is to animate them. This is the rigging tool. Here we have the show selected deformer chains and hide all others. Hmm, I wonder what it does. But if you click on the next icon, which is show selected deformer, this is if you want to see more than one. This one is to isolate one, and this one is to have more than one. This one is to move more than one deformer point at a time, but we'll see that when we talk about the envelope. Last thing, if you want to get rid of all your deformer, simply click on this little icon, which is called hide all controls, and you'll get rid of your deformers. So I hope this was helpful, and I wish you a wonderful week.